Hey, what's up guys? Sounds like pause here and today is uh, the day before a very special day because tomorrow, tomorrow, March 25th, Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice comes out, which I am super excited for. You know, I've been waiting like two years. Yeah, that's about when they announced it, two years ago for this movie, so I'm super excited. I bought my tickets weeks ago. Um, so yeah, it is Thursday the day before this movie is supposed to come out worldwide, so I'm going to sort of an early screening, I guess, um, for it. I'm going to see it uh, IMAX, obviously. There's no other way to see this movie. Um, so I'm very excited about it. Uh, you know, I got my Superman shirt on, and yeah, so I'm ready to go. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to give my own, own personal review on it. I'm going to keep it as unbiased as possible. I'm obviously a DC guy, a Superman guy, but I'm going to keep it as unbiased as possible because I feel like a lot of these reviews out there already have been a little biased towards just the director himself. I don't know why everybody hates Zack, Zack Snyder. So I really don't know. But anyways, um, I'm, I'm going to try to keep it as fair as possible and honest. So um, I'm also going to try to keep it as spoiler free as possible. Um, I will do spoilers towards the end, um, but I will give you guys a big enough warning so you don't accidentally hear a spoiler. I'll put like a huge message on the screen uh, warning you guys so you can cut the video off there if you don't want to hear it. But anyways, this movie starts in about a half hour and I gotta go drive over to uh, Scotiabank Theater. So um, yeah, I will see you guys after the movie. So I'm back uh, from Batman vs. Superman. Um, I actually watched it twice. I can't remember if I mentioned that uh, before. Um, but yeah, I did watch the movie twice uh, on the 24th and the next morning on the 25th. Um, so I guess I'll get into like my kind of review on it. I'm not going to make this too long. Uh, I won't go into too many details. Uh, I'm going to try not to uh, spoil anything. Um, but like I said, at the end of this review, I might spoil a little bit of stuff. Um, but I'll give you guys a warning, a heads up. So anyways, uh, as you guys probably know, there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of mixed uh, reviews for this movie, which uh, if you saw Man of Steel, then you pretty much expected this to happen. Um, so I'm not sure what a whole lot of people's complaints about the movie were. All, all I've kind of seen is that there are a lot of people who don't like it, um, but they didn't really give any reasons why. Um, but um, I will say that compared to uh, Marvel, kind of has set um, the idea in people's in fans and moviegoers' heads how uh, comic book movies should be done because they've just been at it for so long they've been owning movies comic book movies for so long they've kind of set the tone of what comic book movie, people expect from the comic book movie um, but Batman vs Superman like Man of Steel is very different um, it is pretty dark uh, it's a lot more serious than than Marvel uh, comic book movies or any other comic book movie to be honest uh, it's a lot more serious there is humor in it though there is a lot of humor in it but it's like subtle and dark humor um, that's that's basically all I can say about that um, so there is humor in it if that's what some people don't like about it um, me personally I like the more serious tone of, of DC movies right now, uh, Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman. I do like that more serious tone. I do like the Marvel movies. I do like the comedy in it, but sometimes I feel like it goes overboard and they end up making their villains look a lot less menacing than they should. Um, for example, um, Iron Man 3 with the Mandarin. Like, I mean, he was only put in that movie as a punchline, you know? A huge villain in the Iron Man series, and he was a punchline in the movie. Um, 
and you know it's just a lot of the villains in these movies have kind of been even Loki in, in uh, the Avengers you know um, whereas uh, even Man of Steel Zod and uh, Feora and I can't remember what the other uh, Kryptonian's name is um, there's nothing funny about them they were all business and they they were as dangerous as they were supposed to be you know Zod was everything he was supposed to be it like he was in the comics um, and Batman vs Superman uh, they're very faithful to that making sure every character is getting well respected um, you know Superman in this movie um, I, I think a lot of people just want to see a more hopeful happy Superman I guess I'm not sure um, but I like this evolution that we're seeing from him starting with Man of Steel um, he does he's realizing um, that the world kind of needs him to be be that that figure of hope and stuff and uh, he's struggling to deal with that especially because you know you got others you know other people in the world um, kind of seeing him as a threat making him look like a threat and all that so he's just, he's struggling to you know become the Superman we all know and love um, but anyways uh, Batman's evolution also kind of uh, started in this movie you know he was a lot more cruel and brutal and just you know dark he sees himself as a criminal um, but because of Superman he's realizing he um, because of Superman you know he's kinda he's seeing the world differently and how to go about dealing with uh, criminals and uh, just dangerous and everything and um, but, uh, yeah, anyways, I can't really say any more about that without spoiling, so I'll save that to the end. Um, another thing I liked about this movie, um, like, like I said, all the characters were re well represented, uh, represented, sorry, uh, especially Wonder Woman, who everybody in the theater just go, went nuts for when she made her first actual appearance in her Wonder Woman outfit. Like, everybody just... Like, there's nothing to complain about her, uh, Gal, Gal, Gadot, Gadot, I don't know how to say her name. Either way, she did a fantastic job as Wonder Woman. I remember so many people complaining about her when she was cast in the role, and I swear, people never, never learn to not judge an actor who's cast in a role before you actually see them perform that role. You know, I mean, I thought this started with Heath Ledger when people were complaining about that, but apparently it's been going on for years and years and years. Uh, comic book fans, they'll just never learn. But she did a fantastic job. But for me, the highlight of the movie and the most interesting character in the movie was easily Jesse Eisenberg as uh, Lex Luthor. Um, like, I mean, me, just like everybody else, I was skeptical when he was cast as um, Lex Luthor. But I, I remained help hopeful because, you know, He's a good actor, so I mean, I figured he was gonna do something decent with the role. There was a reason they cast him. They had Zack Snyder. He had a vision of Lex Luthor, and Eisenberg fit the role. And when I watched Eisenberg in this movie, he is very strange. He's a very strange Lex Luthor, very different from anyone we've seen in the previous movies. But if you're not familiar with the comics, um, there are two very different versions of Lex Luthor. Um, and uh, there's like a business one who's, you know, who's concerned with running his business and making money and profiting and um, uh, he running for president. And then there's another Lex Luthor who is just like a criminal mastermind, like the most dangerous man in the world. And um, this is the Lex Luthor that they're using in this movie. Um, in the, you, you don't really see that till um, you kind of actually do see that from the very beginning that this is th there's definitely 
a little craziness to, to Lex. A lot of craziness, actually. And Eisenberg, he just did such a fantastic job with the character. Um, yeah, um, then you got... Um, well, obviously, if you've seen the trailers, you saw Doomsday does appear in the movie. Um, Doomsday, they... They did a good job on him. I mean, yeah, um, it's not completely following the canon of Doomsday's origin and whatnot, but besides that, um, he's every bit as dangerous in the movie as he is in the comics. Um, and if you've read um, the Death of Superman story, um, you pretty much know what to expect from, from Doomsday. Um, and he did great. Oh, shoot, that's my phone. Where is it? Uh, hang on. Ugh, sorry about that. Um, you pretty much know what to expect from that. Um, so yeah, Doomsday was great. Uh, um, as you probably heard, I hope I'm not spoiling this, but there are other Justice League characters who make uh, cameo appearances in the movie. Um, just small, brief appearances. Nothing too crazy, but gives you an idea of what to expect in the Justice League film coming out. Um, yeah, besides that, uh, the action is top-notch. Best in any comic book movie I've, I've seen. Batman vs Superman tops that, for sure. Zack Snyder, he knows how to make a comic book movie. Um, but anyways, like I said, this movie uh, it's far from perfect. If you did not like Man of Steel, then you're probably going to have a lot of issues with this one, too. Um, but uh, my advice is just watch it for yourself and don't don't let any negative reviews decide how you feel about the movie. Just go in there and watch it for yourself and decide. Um, because uh, you know, comic book movies don't always don't all have to be the same. You know, I mean, look at Deadpool. Very different from from. Uh, Marvel's movies, uh, and you know, and same with like the X Men Fox uh, franchise. You know, very different from Marvel movies as well. But you know, they're all good, and like DC's movies, very different as well. So, you know, different is not bad. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much my review on the movie. I thought it was great. Definitely not perfect. Um, it was. It is long, but. There's a lot of stuff that they they tried to cover in this movie and go over, and I don't think it's overly complicated the plot or anything. It's not overly complicated. Um, it, everything makes perfect sense uh, from what I remember of it, and I saw it twice. So um, yeah, Ben Affleck did a great job. All the actors involved did a fantastic job in their roles. So, anyways, yeah, I definitely recommend going going to watch it. It. Um, it is definitely up there as one of my top favorite comic movies of all time, uh, Batman vs. Superman. And uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. So anyways, um, big spoilers. Spoilers are happening now. Uh, so if you don't want to be spoiled and you haven't seen the movie, uh, stop this video now. But anyways, um, so I'm going to talk about some of my favorite parts. Um, number one. Well, this is in no particular order, but just from what I'm remembering. Um, Batman, uh, sorry, not Batman, Wonder Woman's first appearance when she blocked, when she saved Batman from Doomsday's uh, attack. That was amazing. She just looks so badass. Every, every scene Wonder Woman was in was just so, so epic. Um, and uh, another uh, really shocking moment for me was like uh, the courtroom scene where uh, Wallace, I can't remember his last name, um, and his wheelchair uh, explode and kill everybody. That was a really, I was not expecting that moment. Um, something that really disappointed me was how they used the Mercy character. Um, I guess there's many takes on this character, but one of my favorite versions of it was uh, Young Justice, if you guys ever watched that cartoon. Um, and in that one, she's kind of like, She's kind of like, sort of like a cyborg. She's essentially Lex Luthor's bodyguard. Um, and she's got like, in that, in that series, Young Justice, she has um, 
her arm is like can turn into a gun basically at will. So he's basically modified her to be like this extremely dangerous weapon and that's his bodyguard. And um, I thought they were gonna use that more for her in Batman vs Superman but, um, but they didn't. Um, she didn't have much to do at all to be honest. Um, they just kinda, and they killed her off. As far as I know she's dead. Um, because you know Lex Luthor and he was basically responsible for killing her because he sent her into the courtroom Specifically he told her to go into the courtroom even though He knew what was gonna happen. So that's that really it was really strange to me um, It's really disappointing because I love that mercy the mercy character. I like um, How she's bodyguard of Lex Luthor, but anyways, I was disappointed by that, but that doesn't make it a bad movie or anything it's just you know feels like a waste of a character for me um another strange thing um another thing um i didn't really like was urza miller as the flash we only saw him briefly but um he looks nothing like the flash in any shape or form even with the mask on um it just looks like urza miller just looks like Urza Miller. It doesn't look like he's playing Barry Allen. It doesn't look like he's playing Twice. Just looks like Urza Miller, and it was just I, I, could, I thought they would have at least tried to make him look somewhat like Barry Allen. If it is Barry Allen, he's confirmed to be playing, right? I'm, I can't remember, but either way, he doesn't look like Barry Allen. He doesn't look like Wally. He doesn't look like any Flash that I've heard of. But anyways, that was disappointing. Uh, Jason Momoa as Momoa is that how you say As Aquaman, he looked fantastic. Um, Cyborg, God, I wish DC. Would Stop pushing Cyborg as a member of the Justice League. I feel like he should be part of the Titans. Um, but that's just my own brand. I understand it's DC wants to push him. Like, come on. I, don't know. I feel like Static would be better. Anyways, um, yeah, all the, the cameos like that were really, really awesome. Um, yeah, any scene with Lex Luthor, I just love. Honestly, Eisenberg, he just killed this movie for me. He was just, I thought he was fantastic. Um, I can't really say much about Ben Affleck's Batman. Like, I, I, I figured right from the beginning he was going to be good, so I went in there already with high expectations, and he fulfilled them, like, to every degree. He, I thought he was fantastic. Uh, his fight with Superman was great. I love that. You know, I know these Batman, you know, fanboys are going to be like, oh, see, you know, Batman beat Superman, but, you know, let's be real. Superman could have ended that fight and before it even started. Right from the beginning, he could have killed Batman, no problem. And the only reason Batman won is because Superman was not fighting to kill, whereas Batman was. Um, but anyways, that, that's my rant about that. I, either way, I thought the fight was really good. Um, they definitely tried to make Batman look way better than he actually is. But that could be my own bias opinion. How I felt about it, but anyways, I still feel like the the fight was awesome to watch between those two. Uh, the fight with Doomsday was great. You know, you know, I don't get why people give Batman so much credit because if you watch, if you see that fight, he didn't really do anything. I mean, he lured Doomsday to the city. Okay. Um. Uh. And then he hit the entire battle until the very end when he shot Doomsday with his last gas can of kryptonite I don't know. like that's it that's all he did whereas Superman and Wonder Woman were the ones actually fighting Doomsday so I mean yo let's let's give them a little credit here um, but anyways like I said the whole fight was awesome uh, Eisenberg you finally get to see him shave his head at the end and you know you can tell he's going crazy um I definitely think uh, it's Dark Side that he's talking about, and I'm really interested to see how Lex Luthor plays out, uh, fits into the rest of the DC universe after this. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, yeah, besides that, that's all I can really say about the movie. Um, all the music in it, by the way, was phenomenal. Uh, Hans Zimmer, I think, did 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 uh, the score for this movie, and I pff, so good. Just like it's so unique to hear that kind of music in, in a comic book movie, so 
he just did a fantastic job. But anyways, I guess this video is getting kind of long. Where are we at? Oh damn, yeah, really long. So that, uh, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts and opinions on uh, Batman vs Superman. Um, yeah, I'm excited for um, the Justice League, which is what is it, twenty? Is it 2017 or 2018? I hope it's 2017. That's supposed to be out. Probably 2018. But anyways, so yeah, uh, I guess I should end this video. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys all thought of the movie. Uh, whether you liked it or hated it, or if you disagree with you know, whatever I said in this video, I'm sure there's going to be lots that you do. Um, just let me know. Um, I'm always curious to see what other people think. But like I said, watch this movie for yourself, and don't go by reviews, you know. Because either way, you know, let's just keep supporting comic book movies, because it's, it's, it's a great time to be a comic book. So, you know, let's just keep keep supporting it, whether we like the movie or not, you know, let's just go watch them so we can keep making more um, for, our, for us fans and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyways, that does it about it for this video. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace!